learn today about the main idea of a story and how to find the supporting details. But you know how I am. I don't want you just to find the supporting details. I want you to be able to tell me why they're the supporting details. Because a true learner can not only state the facts, but they can defend it just like an attorney could defend you too. So here we go. Turning your reading spiral to main idea. I think we did a main idea table. Main idea. Find that main idea table, or you may have drawn a main idea chair. I left that option up to you. A main idea table or a main idea chair. Take a few minutes to look over your notes and refresh your mind about what main idea is. Give me a thumbs up if you think you know what a main idea is. Thumbs up if you think you know. If you're not too sure, give me one in the middle. Okay, hands down. Some of my thumbs up people. What is a main idea? What's a main idea? Adrian. It's the big picture. It's the big thing the story is a about. Okay. You also saw supporting detail on your spiral. What's a supporting detail? A supporting detail. Supporting detail. Hmm. Olivia, what's a supporting detail? It is, it hold, it's like a chair, like it holds the main idea up. It holds the main idea up. I love that you said that. That's exactly what a detail does. It supports that main idea. It holds it up. So today we're going to read a story about frog and toad. And your job is to do a little bit of visual thinking. Raise your hand if you can refresh my mind about what visual thinking means. What you think you should write down. Okay, what you think you should write down. Who can expand on that a little bit more? I love what you're saying that. You, uh, when you visually think, you write it down. You don't say it out loud. You write it down. I love that you said that. When I'm doing visual thinking, whatever I'm thinking, I don't say it out loud. I don't raise my hand. I write my thoughts down. Does my thought have to be a question? No. No, no it doesn't have to be a question? Okay, what could it be then if it's not just a question? M? It can be a, like, a statement, like... Exactly right. What you think of, it just, like, it doesn't have to be a question. It can be, like, a It could just be a comment. statement. It could be a comment. It could be a statement. Very good, M. It could be what pops in my head. Because you know Miss Barbie at the movie theaters, what does she do all the time? Talk. Talk, talk, talk. Because when you're reading or watching something, you should be thinking the whole time. You shouldn't just be reading the word. You should be attaching meaning to it and thinking about it. So today you're going to do a little bit of visual thinking. Inside your buckets on your table, there is a sheet. And it says frog and toad. Please grab one sheet out of the bucket. Your job is to start doing your visual thinking when I say prowl. But you know how I love to have fun? It beats your best interest to make sure you think and I may, I'm able to see it, okay? Okay, prowl. Okay, you guys ready? Remember, if you have an unfamiliar word to you, you can also serve while they do spend more time in the water than on land. What made you write this down? I have a question for you, Addison. What is it? A, a toad? A toad has a dry pumping pulse. Where do you? You made a little notes in toad and frogs have a lot in common. In common. Did you find a lot in common so far? Mm. Did you find anything different about them so far? Hannah, I love that you started the very first sentence asking yourself the question so that you'd be thinking about that question the whole time. How do they have more in common than they have different? Now, let me ask you this. Do you think you know what the main idea is so far? What do you think it is? Frozen toads actually have more in common than they have in differences. Have you found any details that support that yet? Throughout the story, anything that supports how they have things in common or support how they have things that are not in common? I truly enjoyed 
what I saw. I could tell exactly what you guys were thinking. So when I came around, I didn't have to ask you, hey, Jared, what were you thinking about this? I was able to see his thoughts on his paper. A lot of you have already figured out what the main idea is, which is pretty impressive. But right now, if you have not gotten to that point in your thinking process, I want you to take just a moment, and at the bottom of your paper, I want you to write down what you think the main idea is. At the bottom of your paper. This is just private time for you. What do you think the main idea of Frog and Toad is? I love how Cade's writing in complete sentences. He told me the main idea is... Or am I going a little bit deeper in my discussion about frogs and toads? Think about that when you write it down. Most of the story tells you what um, frogs have in common and what, um, no, what frogs and uh, toads have in common and what they don't have in common and, what, and how they do their thing. Excellent. Um, Look back in the text room and give me an exact, an exact detail. That tells you exactly what they have different. Pick out one detail. It tells me about a difference. It says frogs and toads actually have more in common than they have in differences. You found some things I had in common. Oh, very good, very good. I saw some excellent main ideas I was going around. I think we pretty much all have the same thought in mind. Let's talk about it real quick. Now, when I want to organize my thoughts, a good way to organize my thoughts when I'm talking about main idea? Isabella? A main idea web. A main idea web. Excellent idea, Isabella. Let me draw one of those. So we're going to label it frog and toad. And we know in the middle of our web, we always put the think about it. Think about it. Tell me. Main idea. Excellent. You put the main idea in the center. I'm a volunteer to tell me what the main idea of my story is. The main idea of my story. Hmm. Diego, you want to tell me? They belong to the same uh, family. Okay, so frog and toad have things in common. What else? That's not the whole main idea. It's not the big picture. It's a little bitty piece of the picture. What else? The main idea is that how frog and toads are different and alike. Excellent. Main idea is about how frog and toad have things in common and their differences. Now, we're going to delve back into our text one more time. We're going to look for supporting details. I want two supporting details about how they're alike and two supporting details about how they are different. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes of group time to talk about it. You may prowl to your groups. Remember, head to head, head to head. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't really say that. It says slimy toad really doesn't frogs make their eggs much in batches. Sense. I know frogs that. Frogs lay their eggs in batches oh, and toads that, lay their eggs yeah, in long strips. Yeah, that's a good difference. That's a good difference. All right, and then those are not. Oh, that's a great one. Write that one down. Write that one down. It's an excellent one. Is that something they have in common or something that's different? Common. In common. Go ahead and write that one down. It's an excellent fact so far. Make sure we delve back in our text and find it. When you do your text evidence, make sure you tell me which paragraph you found the evidence in. In paragraph two. A frog pulled out of the water tries to feel relative slimy or relative depending on whatever you're talking to the family of frogs. So you guys have already found a few details. Give me a detail that you found so far. Okay, let's talk about there. A frog is smooth and a toad is bumpy. Those are the differences. You think maybe we just state that? Some differences we found were... Yes, exactly right. Do me a favor. When you're going back in your text and you're finding your evidence, make sure you tell me which paragraph you found that evidence in. So write paragraph one or paragraph two or P1, P2. We have to do the details first. Actually, oh, it's good as you put your, your man again. 
Let's go ahead and write that down. Exactly right, Charlie. It's th what they have in common and what's different about them. Go ahead and write that down in your diagram. The toe tends to have dry, bumpy, possible, warty skin. Warty skin? Okay. Have you done a third one yet? No. Okay. So, looking at Madison's paper, I see the main idea is that they have more in common than they have different. So this is what I'm noticing. You tell me what you think. You said that frogs and toads both hop away from their home. So those are things they have in what? In common. Then you have that toad tends to have bumpy, dry skin, and frogs have smooth skin. So something they have that's what? Different. So our main idea said there are things in common and different. Have we held up our main idea or is our table falling over right now? We've held it up. We've held it up. So we're pretty good so far. Okay, you just finished having your group discussion about things they have in common and things that are different. And you looked in your paragraph to find the supporting details. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to go to each table and I'm going to surprise you and ask you if you're going to give me something they have in common and that's going to be different. I do ask you to tell me where you found that particular detail in paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, or four, so on. Because you need to have text evidence. You have to prove to me you found it there. Okay. Let's start with um, group number four. Give me something they have in common. Something they have in common, group number four. Um, Jared. They're from the same family. Oh, they are both amphibians. Excellent, Jared. Jared, where'd you find that out in your text? The first paragraph. First paragraph said they're both amphibians. I'm going to put paragraph one on that. Hmm. Table two. Tell me something that is different. Different. Willem. Um, frog skin is slimy and uh, toad skin is warty. Excellent, excellent. Frog skin is slimy. Toad skin is warty. Mm. What paragraph did you find that in, Willem? Um, paragraph three. Paragraph three, he says. Excellent, Willem. Okay, group number one. Group number one. Tell me something in common, group number one. I'm going to have in common. Landon. Um, frogs and toads both hop away from their water homes. Very good. They hop away from their homes. What paragraph did you find that in, Landon? Paragraph two. Paragraph two. Oh, no. One, sorry. It's one. I can make it into a one. No worries. No worries. Last but not least, group three. Group three. I need a difference, group three. Tell me a difference between it. Frog and a toad, according to the text. Emma. Dogs can eat frogs, but they can't eat toads. Hmm. A vocabulary word we learned not too long ago is when you can eat something, it can be eaten. What's another word for you can eat it? You remember, Jared? Um, edible. Edible, exactly right. So frogs are edible. Hmm. Excellent. So we just finished our graphic organizer. We did an awesome job on it, too, might I add. I love that I saw everyone thinking. You were working head to head. You were thinking and listening to each other. You weren't just going along with what someone else was saying. You were debating. Very good job.